Welcome, I'm from is a Samsung Galaxy A51 and today I will show you how to perform a hard reset on the device through the recovery mode. And this process will also remove a screen lag if you have one that you don't know the pattern to. But keep in mind that if you are logged into a Google account, it will you will need to confir confirm it later on during the setup. It will basically block you before uh, you won't be able to finish the setup if you don't know your uh, Google account. So. To get started, I'm gonna lock the device as though I don't know the pattern to it. So you can see there is the pattern, assuming I don't know it. Um, and also I'm logged out of the Google account, so this wouldn't happen for me. So to get started, number one, if you try to shut off the device, uh, you will see that you most likely can't. So because you try to shut it off and it will pop you up with confirm with the pattern. So we will have to forcibly shut it off by holding power key and volume down. So <clears throat> I'll explain it quickly. You will hold power, volume down, both keys at the same time till you see the screen shut off. And once it does, you want to switch from volume down to volume up and do not release the power key. Just keep holding power and switch from volume down to up. So now I'm gonna go to it. I'm gonna unlock the device, like well, not unlock it, but show on the screen so you can see that uh, you want to have it on so you can see when it shuts off. So power key, volume down. Keep holding and right about now, switch to volume up. I want to see the Samsung Galaxy logo. You can let go. And we're now in the recovery mode. So from here, we will use volume keys to navigate considering the touch screen doesn't work. And you want to select Wipe data, factory reset, like I said, using volume keys, and once it's selected, confirm it with power key. Again, select factory data reset and power key to confirm it. I will begin. Now we have a dialog box on the bottom, and the last thing you should see there is data wipe complete. And then we boot system now should be selected by default. So all you need to do now is just confirm that by pressing the power key. Now the device will be rebooting and also continuing the reset of, of itself in the background so it will actually take a little bit longer for it to turn back on than it normally does but once it's finished we should be then greeted with the android setup screen so i'll be back once that's actually visible And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can set up your device as however you like. So you would start off by choosing a language and well, do the normal setup. And yeah, so this is how you would go through the reset of your device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.